John says, so if you can chunk that balance with a safety cushion of at least 20%, then do it. Yeah, right? Because that that's, you know, it's a, it's a little more than the space that I like. I, I like to have at least 30% space in, in, in my uh, line of credit, you know? If I have a line of credit that's 20,000 and up, okay? Or a HELOC like this, uh, I do prefer to keep 20 to 30 percent space always, always, at all times, just for those what if moments, things like that, you know. And then I also don't mind having a couple of credit cards, a couple of zero percent credit cards just sitting there for, you know, what if moments. I got to, you know, something came up for the kids, you know, a birthday, you know, you get invited. You know, the neighbors invite you over to a, you know, a couple drinks or a barbecue. And, you know, you got to buy stuff. You know, you can always throw it on the credit card, let it sit there, and then just pay yourself back before the interest rate expires. Or you pay yourself back on the following statement, on the, on the due date. Okay? Let's see. Um. Do you advocate getting a first lien HELOC? If yes, do you have anybody who does it here in Cali? Um, I'm not a big advocate for first position HELOCs. Um, yes, they work. Right? I'll, I, I won't deny that. They work. The, it's a simple concept of, you know, if you've got a, you got a three hundred thousand dollar property, and the bank is willing to convert that into a HELOC. My suggestion would be to have interest, principal, and interest payments. I would not go with interest only payments. The only reason why I say that is due to what I've seen people go through. Right. So math is great. Right. Math can tell a lot, but it's the user. It's always it always comes down to the user. How does the individual use the concept? So I've had three cases so far, two in California and one on the East Coast side where these guys got these massive HELOCs. Right. 200, 300, almost $400,000 HELOCs, and they're making interest-only payments, which is coming out to somewhere around $1,300, $1,500, or even maybe as high as $1,600, right? And mind you, if you did the first lien HELOC, there's no space in the HELOC because you've just moved your whole mortgage debt into that first position HELOC. So now you got all we, right? We borrowed from Peter to pay Paul, basically, to try to save money on interest, which we are technically, only if we do velocity banking, will we save that. Now, the other thing we have to make sure is you better be making like 10K plus a month, right? You, you better be making good money if you're, HELOC is like a $300,000, $400,000, $250,000 HELOC. Because if you're making this kind of money and you have interest only payments, interest only payments of $1,200, $1,300, understand that when we make a chunk, right? When we make a chunk, whether it's half the income, understand that they, they take the whole payment first. So nothing goes towards principal. How do you pay your bills, right? How, how, do we, how do we take more money out if there's no space in the HELOC to do so? Do you see where we can fall into some issues there? So what, so what they teach is to go get credit cards and run some bills on there at 0%. But see, I don't like doing that because now we're, now we, we might have too many things going on. Right. And I've seen this 
with dads, with moms, with, with households. So I'm just giving you what I've been seeing. I don't like it. I prefer getting a second position HELOC. Mind you, I'm not even trying to get all the equity out. I'm 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 getting like 20% equity, 30, 40, like nothing large. And then I'm taking that equity and I'm paying down debts massively. So I'm not causing any crazy attention on myself. I'm not maxing out the HELOC, I'm not doing anything crazy. Let me know your thoughts on that whole spiel that I just did.